In this prestigious all-girls boarding school, all the students are very well behaved and very educated. The girls sleep in rooms of three with identical beds and furniture. Every morning, the girls go into the dining hall to eat. And after, they go on a walk with their teacher to get some sun and exercise. Like I told you in the beginning, the girls are very well educated and very well behaved, so everything goes wonderfully in the school, with the exception of one disagreement that the girls have with their teacher. Girls, today I have good news! We just got the uniforms for our school's band! Aww. Why aren't you happy? Having a band in school is very nice! Yes, it's nice! But we also want to have a cheerleading team. Yeah, all the other schools have cheerleaders except for us. I'm sorry, but we will never have cheerleaders at this school. I've already told you many times. Please stop asking. Okay, Millie, Laura, and Patty, please go get your band uniforms. Later on. Oh, you all look so nice. Our band is going to be better than all the other schools. Okay, girls, let's practice. One, two, one, two, one, two. Mmm, they're so lucky. They look so pretty in their uniforms. They do, and we're stuck without our cheerleading team. Girls, don't you think it's weird that our teacher doesn't want cheerleaders in the school? How come she lets all the other activities in? All of them, except cheerleaders. You're right. That's really weird. We have to find out why our teacher doesn't want cheerleaders at the school. One, two, one, two, one, two. What's wrong, girls? Why so sad? Come watch band practice. It's just that we want to be cheerleaders. It's always been our dream, and you never let us, teacher. Why not? <sighs> okay, I'll tell you. You see, a long time ago, I also came to this boarding school, and... We're fired up, we're sizzling, we're turning up the heat. When it comes to any sport, this team can't be beat. Oh, I would love to be a cheerleader, but those girls won't let me on the team. I'll ask them if I can join again. Hi, can I join your cheerleading team? I've been practicing all month, and I think I've gotten a lot better. Okay, show us. We're fired up. We're green. We're fired up. We're sizzling. We're turning up the heat. When it comes to any sport, this team can't be beat. <laughs> you call that better? It was even worse than last time. <laughs> <laughs> They're so mean. I never want to see another cheerleader in my life. And when I'm a teacher, I'm not going to let anyone be a cheerleader. And that's why I don't want the school to have cheerleaders. What mean girls! Don't worry, teacher. We won't ask to be cheerleaders again. Now we understand everything. No, I have a better idea. Those mean girls made me feel really bad, and now they don't have control of me anymore. And if I don't let you girls be cheerleaders, then I'm going to let those mean girls harm your lives too. And I won't allow that. No one harms my students. Girls, starting tomorrow, this school has a cheerleading team. Yay! We heard it through the grapevine that your team was mighty tough. But when you're up against us, tough is not enough! Excellent, excellent girls! Also, I have some good news for you all. We qualified for the finals! Yay! And I have more good news. I ordered some super glittery pom-poms so we can stand out from the other two teams. Wow, teacher! Excellent idea! Oh! That reminds me, I have to go pick up the pom-poms, but you girls keep practicing. Yes, yes teacher! teacher! 
I hope that lady has the pom-poms ready for me already. Hey, I remember you. Oh yeah, that's true. We went to boarding school together. Oh yeah, of course. I remember you guys. How have you been? Just working, especially now that the big cheerleader tournament is coming up. You remember what good cheerleaders we were. Well, now we have our own teams, and we're in the finals. Really? That's great! I also have my own cheerleading squad, and I'm a teacher at the boarding school as well. She's a cheerleading coach? That's right, and my team is in the cheerleader tournament finals too. <gasps> so, your team is the mystery team that made it to the finals. They wouldn't tell us what team it was. They just told us that it was the revelation of the year. Did they really say that about my team? Yep, I was starting to get nervous, but now that I know it's you, oh, what a relief. <laughs> oh yeah, I was also starting to get scared. Well, I'm not sure why you say what a relief because my girls are great. I'm warning you. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Hey, do you want to have coffee with us? No thanks, I'm really busy with preparations for the tournament. Cool, and what are you doing? Oh, I'm going to buy some glit. Um, <laughs> uh, well, like I said, I'm really busy with preparations for the tournament. Bye! Whew, I'm glad I caught myself. I'm not going to share my idea with them. Hmm, she got real quiet when we asked her what her plans were for the tournament. Yes, I think we should follow her so we can see what she's up to, so we can have an advantage on her. One of our teams needs to win that tournament. Do you have the glittery pom-poms ready? Yes, here they are. Hmm, so glittery pom-poms, huh? With the way glittery stuff is trending, I'm sure they'll stand out. We can't let that happen. Let's go to the same store and buy some glittery pom-poms for our girls, too. Of course! Let's go! Ah, oh, how exciting! That's right. One of our friends gave us excellent references about your store and told us you can make us glittery pom-poms too. Oh, how exciting! I love it when my customers recommend my store. Of course I'll make you some glittery pom-poms. The day of the tournament. <gasps> Girls, do you see this? Yes! The other teams also have glittery pom-poms. And the pom-poms aren't the only shiny things they have. They have glitter all over them. Oh no, the glittery pom-poms were the thing that was supposed to make us unique. Anything wrong, girls? Teacher, all the other girls have glittery pom-poms too. Huh? <gasps> Those copycats! They probably saw what I was getting from the mall. Don't worry, girls. We have other qualities that make us unique that they can't copy. Let's go, girls. Don't worry about it. Come on. Give it all you've got. Okay. The LOL boarding school cheerleaders competed with all their heart. And soon came the time to decide who would be the champions of this cheerleading tournament. Attention, attention, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a very difficult decision for us to pick a winner because all of you have great talent and ability. Therefore, it all came down to creativity. The judges have decided that for being so creative and innovative, the winners are... The LOL Boarding School Team! Girls, we won! We won! Woohoo! Oh, Woohoo! Congratulations, girls! You made it! You made it too, teacher! You were our coach! Yay! Yay! Good job, girls! Congratulations! Oh, thank you! <laughs> no wonder they called you the revelation of the year! You girls did very well! <laughs> Thank you! Um, congratulations! I have to admit, you are very good as a coach. 
Yeah, the truth is, your team is fabulous. You should come by and give us some tips. <laughs> well, maybe some other time. Today, I'm going to celebrate with my students. Thank you, Miss Bertha. My pleasure, sweetie. Thank you, Miss Bertha. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't get a milk, dear. Uh. But I don't like milk. None of that, child. You have to drink milk so your bones can grow strong and healthy. Uh, all right, I'll drink some milk. Thank you. Mmm, this vegetable soup looks delicious. It is delicious, dear. I'll serve you a plate. It's chicken and vegetables, so you're not only getting lots of protein, but also plenty of vitamins and minerals. I'll give you a full plate so you can feel satisfied. Thank you, Miss Bertha. Can I have a spoon, please? Of course, darling. Here's your spoon. Thank you, Miss Bertha. You know, girls, I was thinking, this school does so many things for us and our parents, too and we never do anything for them. I was thinking we should plan something that we can do for our school. Excellent idea. The other day, I noticed that the instruments in the music room are really old. Why don't we buy new ones? You're right, that's a genius gift idea for the school. We can tell our parents to donate money to buy new instruments for the school. No, our parents do a lot for us already. I was thinking it's something we could do ourselves. This weekend that we're going home, we could sell cookies. Good idea! Why don't we tell our teacher so she can help us organize it? What are you talking about, girls? Girls, we need to have a meeting during recess. During recess time, the girls started planning, and then they told the teacher. I love the idea, girls, and I love that you're taking this type of initiative. And as an incentive, whoever sells the most cookies will get to be cafeteria helper all week. Yay! Yay! <gasps> Helping Miss Bertha all week? That means I could put on an apron just like her. And I could serve food with the tongs. On Monday, when they came back to school, girls, we have a tie. Millie and Nadia sold the same amount of cookies. So I'll flip a coin to decide who will help out in the cafeteria. Nadia, heads or tails? Tails, teacher. All right, hopefully it's heads. All right, girls, here we go. And it was heads. Millie will be the helper in the cafeteria this week. Yay, how exciting. Oh, no. I was so excited about being the cafeteria helper for the week. Don't be upset. Maybe Millie won't do the job well and they'll give it to you. Mmm, that gives me an idea. Miss Bertha told me to put these spoons here because we're serving soup for lunch today. There, I'll go see if she needs anything else. Hmm, spoons. I'll change them out and put forks. Done. Miss Bertha, there's no spoons, just forks, and I need a spoon for my soup. Oh dear, I told you to put spoons. Oh, Miss Bertha, I'm sorry, honest, I have no idea what happened. I did put spoons. All right, go to the kitchen and get some spoons, please. Yes, of course. <sighs> but I'm sure I put spoons. I have to hurry and put the salt shakers on the tables because the girls will be here soon. I know what. I'll change the salt for sugar. Yuck! This isn't salt. This tastes like sugar. Oh, no wonder the food tastes so bad today. Dear, it really hurts me to say this, but... I'm getting a lot of complaints from the girls, and I need to change helpers. I'm sorry, sweetie. 
Oh, it's okay, Miss Bertha. I understand. All right, child. Let's start serving now. <laughs> I couldn't do a good job! <laughs> Poor girl. She's sad because she couldn't do her job well. Miss Bertha, I have something to tell you. What is it, dear? The girl confessed everything to Miss Bertha. She told her how she changed out the salt shakers for sugar and the spoons for forks. And then she went to see Millie to tell her she was sorry. Girls! Girls! I have good news! We reached the goal! The new instruments are here! Do you want to see them? Yes! yes! Girls, I present to you the new music room! Look at all the instruments that we could get! Yay! 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 Today is a very special day at the prestigious LOL boarding school. Alright girls, as I'm sure a lot of you already know, every second Friday of the month you can spend the weekend at home with your family. But don't forget that this Monday you need to turn in the science project that I assigned to you last month. Keep in mind that it's a very important part of your grade. Yes teacher! Raise your hand if you already know what you're going to do. Me! 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 Oh no! All my classmates already know what they're going to do for their science project, and I don't! Excellent! The majority of you already know what you're going to do for your project! Alright, there's the bell! Have a wonderful weekend, ladies! Yay! My dad's already here to pick me up! See you later, girls! See, See you later! later. See you later! Have a good one! Hi, Mommy! Hi, sweetheart! How are you? Yay! Big sister! Big sister! Big sister! Hi, little sisters! You're very quiet today, honey. Did something happen? <sighs> it's just that I have a science project and I have no idea what to do. Hmm, what do you think about a boat with wheels and wings? That way, it could be a car, a plane, and a boat all at the same time. Ooh, that's a good idea, but that sounds very hard to do. Why don't you make some magic candy that makes you dream beautiful things? <laughs> that sounds fun, little sister. No, no, it'd be better to make some magic jumping beans that when you eat them, they make you jump super high. <laughs> Good idea, but I don't know. I wanted to do something that's super colorful. Honey, can you go to the store to buy some milk, please? Sure, Mom. I'll be back soon. Wow, the supermarket is so full today. Magic popcorn! Take them, take them, before they run out! Two for the price of one! Huh? Magic popcorn? Could it be true? Are they really magical? Of course, as magical as me! Alright, I'll take them! Can we eat them? Of course, but not yet, because if you eat them now, then you're not going to be hungry for dinner. Well, I'll be back. I'm going to see if Mom needs help with dinner. I don't think Big Sister would know if we ate just one. Yeah, I don't think eating just one will spoil our appetite. Hurry, eat one before she comes back. Huh? Huh? Oh no! I'm all red now! And I'm all yellow! And I'm green! Oh no! What are we going to do now? If our sister sees us, she's going to be upset that we didn't listen to her! Let's go 
go hide. Let's hide behind the couch. Huh? Where's my little sisters? I told them to wait for me by the magic popcorn, but they're not there anymore. Little sisters, little sisters. Ah, uh, where could they be? <gasps> little sisters, what happened? We ate the magic popcorn and it made us turn into a different color. So that means that the popcorn really is magical. Oh no, what can we do girls? Let's go, let's go. We're going to drink lots of water. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Gloop, gloop, gloop. Hopefully the water turns my sisters back to normal. I really need to go pee. Me too. Me too. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Now I know what I'm going to do for my science project, the magic popcorn. Two tickets for prom fever, please. <sighs> my mom is taking forever to pick me up. The customers are going to love the new makeup that just came in today. And this new program we just got on the computer that says that the best shade is for our complexion is genius. I want the customers to get here already! What a nice day today! What a good idea you had to come to the mall! Yes, I felt like getting out today! Do you have the CD that has Despacito on it? I love that song! Despacito, quiero respirar tu cuello despacito! Of course, we got it yesterday! Let me get it for you! Drink all your milk, little sister, so your bones can be very strong. Ooh, there's a lot of people in the mall today, but it's always the same. I have an idea. I'll open up a store that sells bubbly bath bombs, but these are going to be different. They're going to be super fun because they're going to have a surprise inside. It'll be the most fun store in the mall. Now to mix it really well. Now for my next secret ingredient, water! It's turning out wonderfully! For this next ingredient, I should put glasses on because if it gets in my eyes, they'll get irritated. Mixing, mixing! Ooh, how exciting! The first bubbly bath bomb is almost ready! I forgot, I have to put the surprise inside! Hmm, bloop! Now we can put the rest of the powder. Now a little bit of glitter. How exciting! It's coming out great! Now for the ball forming machine. Oh, how exciting! I want to see how it turned out! Look, girls! That's the store I was telling you about. Supposedly, they have the coolest bubbles in the mall. And it's causing quite a sensation. That's not true. We're the coolest bubbles in the whole wide world. I think we should go and check it out. Yeah, let's go see it. The truth is, I'm very curious as well. Wow, what a line. This store is super popular. Hmm, it's got to be really fun. Let's go see. Hello, girls. Welcome to the most fun bubbly bath bombs in the whole mall. First of all, I'm going to show you a super fun bath bomb that I just made. This bomb is very fun because it has a surprise inside that's very hard to find. And as you can see, it's very glittery. Ready? Here it goes! <gasps> wow! How amazing! And here's the special surprise inside. Come on in, girls. Every girl grab a ball and throw it in the water and you'll find a surprise inside. Ooh, I got a blue one. Blop. <laughs> I got a croissant. <laughs> Yay, it's my turn. And it's green. Ooh, I got a very fine perfume. What color will I get? Yippee, it's pink. My favorite color. 
I want to see what I get. Bloop. Aw, suitcase. <laughs> I think I'll try my luck again. My turn. I wonder if I can kick it like a soccer ball. Woohoo! Green, like my team. What will I get? Bloop. Wow, so many bubbles. A cupcake. <laughs> what could mine be? What could mine be? Ooh, I got purple. Let's see what I get. Bloop. French fries. <laughs> How fun. I want one. I want one. That's fine, little sister. You go first. Yippee. Oh, it's so big. Be careful, little sis. Don't fall in the water. Oh, I caught you. Oh, how scary. And now me. <laughs> Kaploom. Yippee, a cup. Ooh, I got a thermos. Yippee, it's finally my turn. It was such a long line. There it goes. Wow, a suitcase. I want to try again and see if I get something more fun. Woohoo, I got pink again. Yippee, a very expensive perfume. This one I liked a lot. Uh, girls, why don't you all take a ball? The thing is, we are the queens of bubbles, and we came to let you know that. Oh, I see. But really, these are different types of bubbles. You guys are drinks, and my bubbles are for the bathtub. Um, that's true. All right, so what do you say? You want to try it? Uh, all right, why not? Woohoo! Me next! Me next! <laughs> this is so fun! All right, I'll try it too. Kaploom! I got a golden racket! I got a pink one! I got a book! I got a half slice of pizza! <laughs> I'm glad you like the surprises! Yeah, they're very nice! But since you make them, you must already know all the surprises! That's no fun for you! What if we make a ball for you with a surprise that you don't know what it is? Ooh, that sounds fun! That's fine, I'll wait outside! Girls, time to work! Your surprise is ready! I'm coming! Alright, we'll let you open it by yourself! Bye! <gasps> Ooh, how pretty! It's two different colors! I'll throw it in clean water so I can see it better. Kabloom! What a beautiful combination! And so much glitter! Oh, I see the surprise! <laughs> oh, those girls! Well, after a long day of work, a soda is a pretty good treat after all! <laughs> Hi friends! Stories with Toys and Dolls here, and today we are playing with a lot of different toys. We played with these two LOL doll toys that a lot of you have been asking me for. And we also played with this Bratz Fashion Mall set. The box is a little messed up because the set is a little old. It's from 2003. So if you're under 13 years old, then this set came out before you were even born. But it's super fun. That's why I wanted to show it to you guys. But before we see the toys, I want to show you these dolls that my sister painted. Last time I showed you this Coca-Cola one that a lot of you said you liked. And I told her and she was very happy to hear that. So now she did more. This is the Fanta LOL. This is the Mountain Dew LOL. And this one is the Sprite LOL doll. Now we'll open the toys that we played with today. We'll open them all first. Oh wow, look at all these things! Friends, we have a lot of toys to get to, so let's save some time and put them all together with my magical fairy dust. Now that we have everything together, let's go store to store and see what we got. It comes with one of the brats. I think it's Yasmin. It has this beautiful lamp that's like for a park. 
Also, this nice bench. This is the first store. It's a makeup store. I have here these accessories that didn't fit. And we have a straightener, a hairbrush, and these two things right here. I'm not really sure what they're for. Friends, if you know what they are, let me know in the comments. We have here a computer, and I'm pretty sure it's used to decide what shade is best for the person. The customer can sit in one of these stools, and here they can tend to her. They can do her makeup, she can try different lipsticks. Here they have some really small brushes, but we can take them out from here so we can play with them. We have an eyelash curler here, and this here, I'm not sure what it is. But if you know, don't forget to tell me in the comments. It has stools for two customers, and here on the counter we have nail polish, lipstick, and we can also take them out so we can pretend that we're painting the nails or that we're putting lipstick on. Here we also have a makeup palette. They have these little lamps that you can remove or put them on. I'll remove them so you can see the decorations. And I'll also take off this one. We can also take these decorations on and off. On the side of the makeup store, we have a movie theater. And we can see the movie times and all the movies that they're showing right now. And here, the customers can buy the tickets. Oh, nobody's here. The movies are closed. Boring. All right, I'll come back later. The doors can really open. And it also has this little store where you can buy popcorn, sodas, candy. But this booth is supposed to go inside the theater. I just took it out so we can see it better. And I'll show you how it looks on the side because I think it's really fun. They have here posters of the movies they're showing. Friends, this part is really funny to me because it has a public payphone. To be honest, I haven't seen a payphone for so long, at least in California where I live. And if we look over here, we see the escalators. And this is super fun because the escalator actually works. So we'll put Yasmin here and we'll see if she doesn't fall off. Ooh, yay! <laughs> She's going to the second floor! And if you want her to come down, it does that as well. But since we're going to the second floor, we'll just go up anyway. The first thing we get to is the cafeteria. It has these chairs and a table. They have some ice cream, some little cups, a plate, and a spoon. I'll zoom in on it so we can see it better. And on the side of the cafeteria, we have a music store. Oh, I forgot to show you from the makeup store at the bottom. These stores have these signs and it says, yes, we're open. But we can change them and have them say, sorry, we're closed. We can do the same thing with the sign in the music store. Now let me show you these shelves that have these CDs. And I think these are magazines. And these here are CDs. In this console in the middle, when we press these buttons, they're supposed to sample songs. But I couldn't find the batteries for it, so it doesn't work. And it has these headphones so the customers can listen to the music so that they can see what music they want to buy. Friends, these pieces also come off, but they're kind of hard to play with because they sometimes fall, and with any little movement you do, they fall. You can take these lamps out too, and that way we can see the decorations in the back better. Boys and girls, I was left with these pieces, but I kept looking and looking, and I'm not sure what they can be used for. I thought that maybe this one was to hold the doll in the escalator, but this part is too thick and doesn't fit. So I have no idea what these pieces are for, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Now that we've opened the Bratz Mall set, let's open this one that you've been asking for a lot. It looks like it'll be really fun! It's very easy to use, there's only four steps. 
we have the surprises that we're going to put in the balls. In our set, we got a hair dryer, a gold LOL ball, where the dolls that are super hard to find come in, and this perfume bottle, very elegant. I already read the instructions and now I'm ready to begin. Let's get to work. Friends, something I like about this machine is that it comes with the colors of the LOL doll balls. It has the gold color, which are for the rare dolls, these two shades of pink, and the green. They also have all the shape designs, triangles, circles, and lines. And the ball that you make also comes with these lines, the circles, and these triangles. Oh, it says LOL right here! I have the rest of the balls here that I didn't use in the video because I didn't show you everything they come with in the story. This ball has three layers of surprises. This is the leaflet where we can mark which ones we already have. So let's start doing inventory with the ones we've already gotten. We have this blue perfume, we got the blue one, and we got the pink one, so I'll mark both spaces. We got the fries, we got the pink cupcake, we got the gold racket, and the pink racket. Oh, I marked the wrong space for the cupcake! I was supposed to mark the pink space! Oh well. I got one half of the pizza, the red one. We got the bread. What else? The blue suitcase and the pink one. We got the white cup and we got the pink thermos. And that's everything we have so far. We're still missing a lot of surprises that we're going to look for now. Let's keep opening this one. Ooh, there's stickers! Oh, I think they're for the surprises we get, because this looks like it's for the racket. And it says that it's a tattoo for the finger. So I'll put this sticker on the racket. Oh, what a difference! I'm going to set this bath bomb aside because I want to put them in the water three by three. Because I love the combination of colors. I love the stickers that we can put on the charms. It's a great idea. <laughs> the little devil. I wonder what this sticker is for. It's about the same size as the book, so it could be for the book. Pizza toppings. Ready, friends? Here go the three balls. It looks like the pink and the dark green one have more bubbles than the light green one but the light green one is melting faster. The pink book, yay! We don't have it yet. The yellow racket, we don't have it yet either, yay! Oh, so it seems like the sticker that it comes with is for the surprise. We now have all the rackets, we got this pizza, and we have both the pink and blue books. I guess the sticker is a clue of what we're going to get. I got a strawberry in this one, so we'll probably get a cupcake. And here we got a little dog. This one is also pink. Ooh, the little devil! Oh, I think it's the cell phone! Yay, I wanted the cell phone! Tattoo and sticker. Friends, I don't think we'll be able to open all the balls today because I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the colors are starting to look ugly because it's starting to get dark where I live. And this video is really long and it took me a long time to make, so it's starting to get dark. <laughs> so we won't have time to open all the balls, but let's open these three. Ooh, these really are bubbly. We got the first surprise, which is a camera, the cell phone. And here we got the bread. We put the picture here. It wasn't the cupcake, it was the bread. But we'll put the strawberry here. And the cell phone that broke. We got the green cell phone, the other bread, and the pink camera. Hi friends, Stories with Toys and Dolls here. Today, we're playing with these Calico Critters play sets. We have the school cafeteria, and we have the school band room. 
On this side, it tells us everything it comes with. And on the back, we see some nice pictures of how we can play with them. And on this side, it shows us that they also have these other two sets available. We already have this one. It's the cafeteria that we'll open in a little bit. Ooh, here we have the piano. And here we see the little catalog that shows us all the Calico Critter sets. And of course, friends, we already have most of them. Here is some furniture and some characters, which we also have most of them. The piano has a cover, the piano keys, and it has this sheet music for us to read. The piano is super detailed. Now let's see what other instruments we have. The first thing we'll look at is this bunny. She's wearing her uniform because she's ready to go to school. This bunny is so cute. Now let's look at the instruments. Friends, I'm not so good at knowing all the names of the instruments, so if I'm wrong, you can correct me. But I think this is a xylophone. And here we have the drumsticks. Oh, oops, everything fell out. <laughs> like I said, we have these two drumsticks. I think these are for the xylophone, and I think these are for the drum. Here is the xylophone with the sticks. And we'll ask Belle Hopscotch, that's the bunny's name, if she can give us a demonstration of how this xylophone works. Belle, can you give us a demonstration? Of course I can. We have the drum with the drumsticks. Belle, do you mind showing us? Of course. And here we have the violin. Let's see if Belle can help us with that as well. Belle, why don't you help show us the trumpet as well? Of course. And if it's not too much trouble, the flute as well. Oh, of course, it's no trouble at all. Thank you so much, Belle, for helping me show my friends at Stories with Toys and Dolls how the instruments work. Oh, no problem at all. But aren't you forgetting one? Uh, no, I think we already played all of them. <laughs> no, you're forgetting the piano. Oh, the piano! Of course! I almost forgot the piano! We couldn't forget the piano because it's my favorite instrument. Well, same here, Belle, because the piano is also my favorite instrument. Now let's look at the school cafeteria. Here on the side, it shows us everything it comes with. Here it has ideas on how we can play. And here it shows the available sets. We just saw this one. The set comes with Ava Cuddlebear, who will help in the cafeteria, which is why she's wearing this apron. But you can take it off and she can just be wearing her school uniform. We have two tables where we can put the food, a pot where we can make soup for all the students. I'll leave it here on one of the tables. It has Oh, they fell! It has six trays so the students can get their food. Hmm, what could this be? Is it for the dirty dishes, maybe? What do you think it's for, friends? Let me know in the comments. We have a ladle, and I'll put it here in the soup pot. Two trays to put food in, a basket where we can put the bread, and this one to put the milk. Some tongs used to serve the food, and here we have the food. This is the soup, and we have to take out these bowls, and we can serve the soup. It comes with six soups, six plates, bread, and I'll put them in this tray. And we also have six omelets, which I'll put in this other tray. And here we have the milks, and they go here. And here we have the spoons. 
Friends, I told you that this basket was for the bread, but I was wrong because I think this basket is for the spoons. So I'll put the spoons here. Let's see if we can fit the soup here. And that's the Calico Critters Cafeteria playset. Friends, we're getting close to half a million subscribers. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and let's get to a million subscribers super fast.